Gunnar Werentil and Uriah Hall. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, so here's the former UFC welterweight title challenger, Darren Till. This guy is all action, all systems go, huge fan base, very fun to watch. First time he tasted defeat, though, was in his first UFC title fight against Tyron Woodley. Valuable lessons gained, and he looks to put those to good use here tonight. As you continue to beat guys like Donald Cerrone and Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, you earn the opportunity to fight guys like Tyron Woodley. And if it doesn't go your way, you go back to the drawing board and you get better. And I am confident that Darren Till will do exactly that. He's a very, very talented young man. He's a young man that's even wise beyond his years and thinks as a fighter that's much more seasoned than he may actually be. Seems to have mastered the weight cut at this point in time. We'll see how it goes for Darren Till here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Hall is nine years the elder. He will have a five inch reach advantage. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Queens, New York, Uriah Craig Todd Hall. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Liverpool, England, Darren Till. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making it So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Just missed with the left there. Well, perhaps a sign of things. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Beautiful punch.
Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh! Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Till. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! That was a thudding leg kick. Oh! Just out of range with that right hand. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Powerful leg kick lands. There you go. Look for the shot. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Let's go, you can do this. Oh. Yeah. oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. The right hand just misses. Keep your hands up, keep your hands up. His hands are down. High kick to the head, high kick to the head. Good work, guys, come on. Nice slip to avoid the left. Big kick land. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Hill going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Take that takedown. Take it now. Take him. Take him down. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Darren Till. There's no give on that leg kick. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Hey, he's off balance. Take him down. Here's the shot. Take the shot. 45 seconds remain in the round. Ball gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. 30 seconds now to go in round one. him with the straight. Nice job there by Darren Till. Nice head kick. Final seconds here. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Till. Five minutes in the books. Round two is here. Darren Till ready to go. And also ready to go. That man, Uriah, primetime help. And he oh. comes through with a big knee.
beautiful leg kick thrown. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. hip into that leg kick. Nice punch there by Hall. Circling to his right. Oh, nice. Till shot is blocked. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Hall's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Trying to find a home for that right hand. And they separate. Look at the turtle in that kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch, man, over the top. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he's got him right here. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to, to hold, hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. 53 total strikes have landed for Darren Till. And a 45% accuracy rate thus far against Uriah Hall. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Till. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big punch lands through the middle. Lands a good combination. Oh! Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Back to the feet. Knee to the body. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Now connects with a right. Now under a minute to go in the second round. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to... Oh, he hurt him! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Nice punch here. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. 30 seconds to go in round two. Caught that kick there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Big kick. Blocks the no. shot. No. No, stop. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. 
he found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Try to establish that jab. Good punch lands. Oh, nice, nice. Paul's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Just a slip there. Well, pretty good effort so far, DC. 87 total strikes have landed for Darren Till. Not the most efficient performance, landing with 47% accuracy tonight against Uriah Hall. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Got the single collar to Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And now he lands a combination. Hill going for the body. Missed with that kick. Oh, that's a good strike there by Hall. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Three minutes now to go in this one. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Big punch from the clinch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's got a cut above the eye now. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, and he caught the kick. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Hands higher, hands higher. Ooh, what a punch. of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Right hand punch from the clinch. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, Till goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under a minute to go. Lance with the ground and pound here. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. I mean, how many can he take? Thirty seconds to go now. Oh, 
40 seconds left. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Big leg kick land. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Beautiful body kick. Nice looping punch. He lands the head kick. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too. Because that one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. The official decision is in here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 27 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Darren So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.